hell guys and welcome back to the second part of the Django chat app so in this one we're actually making our messages real time and also make them display on our web page now so let's go ahead and start doing that if you remember from where we stopped in the last video you go ahead and create a new room name and you pass in a username and click on start chat now then it comes in here and when you say something like hi and click on send nothing happens but everything is working really fine so if you come over here and refresh now we have a new message object and it says hi and that's because that's what we're passing in here so if you see something like destiny and click on send you come over here and refresh now we have destiny so everything is working fine apart from the fact that we don't have um a view set a view that's going to get all the messages and url for that so let's go ahead and start doing it firstly firstly you want to open up your views.py so let's go ahead and open up the views.py and down here i want to define a function that's named get on the get messages not get underscore messages so i want to find a function that's named get messages and in here it's going to take in requests as a parameter then down here there is something i want to do so it's very easy all we have to do is come over here and pass in room two so this is supposed to take in room two as an argument then down here what i want to say is um, room underscore details so I want to get the details of a room and this is going to be set to room that's objects just take a close look at what I'm doing that's get and I want to get this room by the name room so whatever room name the user enters is what I want to get now the next thing I want to get is messages so the messages that the user are sending like the one we're imputing in here so I want to get all the messages that we input in here and we're gonna do that using the variable that's called message and we're gonna set it to message dot objects just like that dot filter so we're gonna filter a message by you open up the parentheses firstly want to filter a message by the room so we want to know the room that the message is coming in from and the next thing we want to check is is room is equal to room underscore details so this is going to be room details so we want to filter the message by the particular room that it's coming from and this is going to have dot id at the back to identify the particular room itself now finally we want to do something and this is going to be returning a json response but before we do that we want to come over here and make sure that you're importing json response from django.http so just say from django.http imports json response and everything should work fine now the next thing i want to do is very easy i'll go ahead and return so i want to return render but in this case i'm going to return json response then you open up a parentheses and in this parentheses you want to take a close look at what i'm doing here because this is actually kind of complex the next thing you want to do in here is go ahead and open up a dictionary like curly brackets like that and i want to pass in messages so i'm passing in messages in a string take a close look at what i'm doing so i'm passing in messages in a string now the next thing I want to do is pass in pass in lists so over here I'm just put some like this and I'm gonna pass in lists like that then I open up a parenthesis and I'm gonna pass in messages dot values just like this messages dot values and there's gonna be a a parenthesis over there just like this everything should work really fine now the next thing i want to do is go ahead and define our url for this so we want to define the url come over to urls and and we're gonna say down here we want to say parts and this part is going to be get underscore messages and take a close look at what I'm doing. So this is gonna be get underscore messages. And I want it to be a dynamic now, dynamic one. So we're gonna say something like that. And we wanna say string should have room in it. So I don't know the right word I'm gonna use, but that should be it. So we just say string and room. So that's what I'm trying to say. And finally, there's gonna be a forward slash over here. So when all this is done, all we need to do is go ahead and define views for it. So we just say views.get underscore messages, just like that. And we wanna make sure that this is the same thing. And finally, we're gonna pass in a name. We're gonna pass in name and this name is gonna be set to get underscore messages and make sure that there are no parentheses over here. Make sure that there are no parentheses. Then finally, I wanna come over to my room.html and I'm gonna pass in a piece of a JavaScript code in here. So I'm just gonna copy the code from my files and I'm gonna paste it in here. So this is the code, I already have it written down here. I'm gonna just come over here and copy it. If you wanna get it, you can just go to the code in GitHub and you would get everything in here. So when I just paste this in here, that's 
pretty much all we need to do one more thing if you're encountering issues running your code you want to make sure that value is equal to message and not capital m take note of that and user is going to be small letter u and not um, uppercase u so take note of this and last thing you want to do is compare your code with mine if your code is not working really well to know the error you might be encountering because definitely you should be encountering an error or something like that and make sure that you cross check everything totally fine before you go ahead and run this to make sure that there are no mistakes but you can go ahead and run it and after that you can come back and debug your code so right now let's open up our terminal and make sure that everything is running fine so i want to open this up and before before you send this i noticed something with ajax you need to have an active internet connection before some of the real-time messages get sent and all that so just make sure you're having your internet on and everything should work fine so i want to go into the room of coders you can go in with whatever name you want and i want to go in as destiny and i'm going to click on start chat now and i want to say hi so i just say hi over here and let's see what do you notice nothing pops up over here and that's because okay guys so right here nothing shows up and i think we are having an error in our urls so let's come over to our urls.py and as you can see over here we just have get messages and we are supposed to have like a slash over here something like that so with this i want to come over and break my terminal so i break my terminal and i think we got an error let's go ahead and run this and see if we actually have an error okay we do not have any error want to go ahead and open this up and want to go into okay let's say i want to go into a new room and that's going to be called programmers and i want to say uh, maybe i'm entering as destiny so when i click on start chat and i come over here and say hi now take a close look what do you notice it gets pops up over here and it says hi so i can see hi and nobody is actually in this room now let's go ahead and do some so i want to open up uh, like a new incognito mode or maybe a new browser or something like that so i'm just going to pull this over here and pull this one here now i want to go to that same port 8000 and it opens this up for us so i want to go into the same room that says programmer so i'm coming into the same room and let's say i want to enter this room as henry so when i click on start chat now just take a look at what happens as you can see it gets what destiny said now destiny is logged in and this is henry so they are in the same group programmer programmer and as you can see it's getting destiny message and read time in this both place so let's say hi and henry replied what's up and clicked on send and as you can see it pops up over here right now automatically and let's say this guy say what's good or something like that so what's good what's good and now take a close look at what happens and as you can see you could go ahead and chat and everything is looking really really nice and amazing from here so as you can see this is working perfectly fine it's a real time it's automatically detects the the user that logged in with the username It automatically detects the the group name and it's finally saving all these to the database so let's go over to our database and come over to rooms as you can see now we have a new room and the name of this room is programmer and that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new and if you did do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing as it to mean the world to me and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now Thank you.